taking a live look from our Fox 46 tower cam. Not so rich as this weather we've been dealing with the on and off showers throughout the week. Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane joining us now with a complete neighborhood storm watch forecast. And uh, there's a plane flying through there. That's a nice sight to see, even though it's pretty cloudy right now, Tara. I know, and I was going to say likely encountering some of that turbulence I'm with sure. the weather situation. Not fun for those flying, right? I know, I know. Take it off uh, into those clouds and coming out of them and trying to land out there because we do sure enough have not a ton of wind but certainly some scattered downpours and uh, some stronger thunderstorms rolling through some neighborhoods here today. Some welcome rain for a lot of us but boy is it heavy over Kannapolis right now up and down Highway 29 and that stretch of I-85 and down through Concord and Highway 601 heavy rain. This is lifting to the north and west and so Cornelius now Davidson Huntersville seeing some of that heavy rain. Heads up folks in Mooresville kind of the south end of town just kind of on the uh, southern edge of that shield of rain. That's going to be moving over the lake and out towards Cheryl's Ford. Love Valley, Northern Iredell County getting some patches of moderate to heavy rain. This is headed into Wilkes County and near Taylorsville pushing into Alexander County. And we have more of that over Lenore heading into the foothills down through Morganton along that stretch of I-40. Some lighter showers scattered around some of the mountain communities. But here in the Queen City and at the airport at the moment, simply mostly cloudy as it has been the past few days. 82 degrees. It's warm. It's humid with those dew points kind of on the muggy side in the mid 60s. We've got some lower 80s and Monroe, Wadesboro, Rockingham with the breaks and peaks of sunshine today. Low 80s down through upstate South Carolina, the mid to upper 70s along I-40 and 60s in the mountains. Out and about the rest of this evening, just keep the umbrella handy just in case because we will have, along with the cloudy conditions, a few spotty showers or some rumbles of thunder out there. Not worried so much about the severe storm threat, talking about the threat of damaging wind or tornadoes or hail, things like that. The main threat will continue to be flooding with more rounds of downpours coming into some of our neighborhoods, especially in the mountains. I'll show you that coming up. And then as we head into actually starting late in the weekend on Sunday, we're going to flip the switch back over to a more settled, drier pattern. Good news, just in time for the Panthers game. And we've got the big Bank of America row of 400 firing up on Sunday afternoon. But until then, boy, there's a lot going on on this map here. Lots of waves of low pressure and high pressure up to the north and east. We have got, yes, all this moisture being pushed in around these systems, a coastal area of low pressure at the same time. And that's just what's leading to just this type of environment. A lot of moisture out there, clouds rolling in, scattered showers and a few storms. And you can see on future radar as we take it out through the night and early tomorrow how the majority of the rain is again focused up in the mountains. Some heavy showers out there dropping into the foothills. And then by 530 tomorrow evening, we'll likely have more scattered downpours around the metro, the Charlotte area once again. Friday, it's another round of this. A lot of the rain focused in the mountains with more scattered showers and a few isolated thunderstorms to wrap up Friday afternoon around the Charlotte area as well. But you can certainly see where the highest flooding risk will continue to be with these uh, heavier rain, this heavier rain footprint showing up in the higher elevations. An additional two to even close to four inches of rain possible wherever those downpours do set up. Meantime, not nearly as much the farther east you go towards, say, Albemarle and down into the sand. Hills in Richmond County. So the mountain forecast, if you're thinking of a little mountain getaway, if you live up there, checking out some of that beautiful fall color, better day over the weekend, at least to do that would be on Sunday and then going into early next week as we get back into that drier pattern. There's a seven day forecast along with a drier pattern next week. Temperatures not feeling very fall like we jump back into the low to mid 80s for those highs above average for this time of the year.